tonight, the Goldsmiths Craft and Design Council Awards 2018. It's been a fantastic evening. It means an awful lot to us, now being running 110 years. Having the Goldsmiths Company as our leading and founding patron is just amazing. Their support is fantastic. One of the other brilliant things, of course, are 100 plus judges that give their time freely. They come along, they judge the work, and I think tonight's results really stand out. To win something at the Goldsmiths Awards is a massive deal to me. It's the first time I've ever applied. And tonight I've won four awards, but the main one was the Boodles uh, Award. To have my work recognized by my peers, uh, and especially such a prestigious company as Boodles, is huge. I'm absolutely delighted. I didn't expect my name to be called at all. So I'm really pleased. Uh, th these awards for the apprentices put them on their sort of own global map, not just within the UK, but it takes it beyond that. Certainly for the workshop, it's a great accolade. And indeed, many, many years ago, I, I was a recipient uh, of an award as well. And I can remember that to this day. I just felt elated and Oscar will be on top of the world, as will many of the other apprentices and award winners you see here this evening. It really does mean something because 45 years ago I started with 12 people, now we have 180. And to go back and tell them that this is a great success as a company is simply wonderful. We are just about to retire ourselves and that is a lovely finale for us. And we were so pleased. I think these awards really um, make me push myself in my own work and just think how can I strive to make every part of my work um, worthy of an award and really push myself to achieve the best. And it's not just about the young and the up and coming brilliant geniuses, it'll be the future of the trade, but it's about the more experienced, older hands as a lifetime achievement award. And in fact, we give away a prize for an apprentice and his or her master. And that is a really important one because it's the spirit of teaching that is the absolute bedrock of this trade. And it's the only way it'll continue. Without the Goldsmiths Craft Council, I don't think that half the people who work in this industry, let alone the people who buy these products, would really understand the importance of design, skills, and everything that is going towards employing young people now and giving them worthwhile careers. This isn't just a job for today, this is a lifetime career, and I'm so proud to support it.